As you know, um, the economy is on the mend. Uh, we've seen um, the unemployment rate stabilize and actually start to reduce. Um, that is turning around. And as that comes about, we do expect consumer spending also to pick up and improve. So we are um, cautiously optimistic, is the way to say it, uh, about the future. Right. Um, from the point of view of government intervention, uh, stimulus monies have been uh, in infused into the economy, and right. that is helping. So several projects uh, which are now underway should bring about the uptick right. in the economy. All right, let's talk about um, the joblessness, because that's a real impediment at the moment and a real challenge. Eight million Americans have lost their jobs. They need to be reintegrated into the economy. What's the government doing about that? Well, any un unemployment is not good. Even one person unemployed is not acceptable. And that said, economies um, uh, have started to mend. You have referenced the fact that uh, unemployment is now reduced at a level of 9.7%, but we believe one American unemployed is still not good. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of where, where the economy is going, domestic uh, consumption will start. I think several projects, as we just referenced, have already commenced and investments have taken place. Mm -hmm. The president has just announced the National Export Initiative, um, and that calls for doubling of exports in the next uh, five years. Mm -hmm. and automatically associated with that is the second objective, which is creation of jobs. We believe exports equals jobs, mm -hmm. so we're confident that the trend is um, well under control. We need the American consumer to be buying again. What big push measures are there for that? America has been a, consum a consumer society, as you reference. Uh, we also are a manufacturing society and a service society. So, as I mentioned, refer uh, as a reference, exports is one way uh, where we are seeing a major thrust. That is, in fact, my portfolio. That's, that's why I'm here in South Africa. Um, and we believe that itself would be a direction, directional way to push um, worldwide consumption. For, for example, the U.S. imports from South Africa. We have a very healthy trade deficit. Um, and we import manufactured stuff from you, um, which helps your economy. So I think, yes, the world is in interconnected. And U.S. Ha is demonstrating by the trends we have that we are consuming right. stuff from South Africa. You're here in South Africa, obviously, to promote bilateral trade, new American companies to be investing in this economy. Tell us more. I'm in South Africa leading a mission where eight American companies across a range of in uh, industries, uh, from safety equipment for airports um, to hydroponics, uh, are with, with me on this mission. They are meeting entrepreneurs here in South Africa with the intent of establishing trading relationships and even further investments into the country. Now, uh, just in terms of competitive advantage, uh, recent figures show that China is now Africa's biggest trading partner, and South Africa continues to have a very close relationship with the European powers, uh, Britain and Germany in this regard. So America, not quite at the top of the list. What are you going to do to boost that competitive advantage in terms of people scrambling for Africa as a new frontier? As far as the potential of Africa is going, it is huge. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not competition with China or any other country. And rankings where we r rank with uh, reference to trade is not the issue. It's the issue of spurring growth and building healthy mm -hmm. trade, bilateral trade in both directions. We are extremely happy in terms of spurring South Africa's growth as you know, the AGOA Act had been enacted, yeah. and that also helped pull together um, your exports. So I, th I think the way we look at it, we are well poised, we are very well situated. Yeah. Uh, America is both in a manufacturing and a service-related yeah. economy. Uh, our exports have done well, and our domestic economies yeah. look forward to doing trade with the African let's nations. Let's talk about AGOA and let's talk about manufacturing, mm -hmm. because uh, AGOA, what it has done for South Africa and countries like Uganda is at least create some kind of access for very <coughs> sensitive goods like textiles into the U.S. market. But the challenge for Africa remains developing its manufacturing capacity. What can be done to try to assist in that regard? 
That's an excellent question. Um, I think first clarity uh, around what is available, what American specifications are, and what type of products are required in Africa, uh, in the U.S. Uh, is something African entrepreneurs need to know. Uh, 6,999 items are on the AGOVA list. Uh, countries as diverse uh, from Ethiopia, which exports footwear as a consequence of uh, AGOVA, to cut flowers from Tanzania, or indeed eyewear from uh, Mauritius. All these have found their way into the U.S. market, which would not have happened had it not been for AGOVA. Now, particularly with manufacturing, which you referenced, South Africa is the beacon. It's the, it's the example. South Africa has engaged actively, taken advantage of AGOA, and as I mentioned to you earlier, um, manufacturing constitutes the majority of exports from South Africa to this country. Okay, let's talk about reverse action in terms of um, getting South African investors back into the U.S. market. We've seen the S&P index improve by 65% since uh, uh, what's happened in 2008, a rebound just in March of 2.7%. But Despite all the measures being taken in terms of quantitative easing and just pumping liquidity into the market, people are still very scared about investing in the U.S. economy. You're here and you need to send a positive confidence-building message out there about people bringing their money into your economy. What do you say? This is the perfect time to invest in America. In fact, um, my department has a program called precisely that, Invest in America, which is for entrepreneurs and uh, companies from South Africa to actually invest in manufacturing and service facilities in the U.S. Um, you reference currency, you reference stock markets. Everything makes it the right time to invest in America. People are saying America's dying a slow death. The dollar is dying a, a very slow death. How do you respond to that? We're very happy that the <laughs> developing market is growing. Um, as as you referenced, the, the world is interconnected. Uh, Brazil, India, and China have posted impressive growths. We expect that of South Africa as well. And it's all a function of the base of the economy uh, and, and what level the economy is at and from where you grow. Uh, America continues to be the world's largest economy, uh, which we're very proud of. It continues to drive uh, consumption and commerce across the world. And we see that to continue for a long time. Yeah.